Okay, in the category of what did I find at the dumpster today, um, we have a whole whack of these little uh, um, 18650s uh, power banks. They say they're 2600 milliamp hours, so um, they've probably just been sitting there. They've probably been unused, so they're probably pretty much brand new cells in here. There was like a whole um, bin of them. I only grabbed um, six just... Uh, sorry, eight to try them out, and uh, yeah, we'll see how they work. Uh, picked up a um, Olympus. Uh, what is this thing? Seven megapixel um, shock and waterproof camera. What I don't have, unfortunately, is a cable for it, um, but it does have a battery inside of it. So we're gonna try and. Uh, although it looks a little puffy. Um, well, we'll try and put some juice in there, plus minus, and T is for um, temperature, I would uh, imagine. Um, we'll just try and put a bit of juice in there and see if the um, camera boots up before I go to the trouble of buying myself a new battery for it, which are going to be dirt cheap. But uh, yeah, we'll try and put a little juice to her, and then maybe um, I can search around for a, for a cable for that too. Don't know. Um, in the uh, mostly surprising, most surprising category is somebody threw out a uh, a Spectrum DX6i. Um, so this, I think, could be flashed with um, updated firmware for um, flight control. But um, so yeah, a second transmitter, which is nice to have. Um, I'll have to power that on and see if it works, but. Uh, we can try that. And then a, <laughs> a Nexus um, tablet, Android tra tablet um, from days gone by. I don't know whether or not this works or not, but we'll um, pop the back off, see if the battery's in there. And then it looks like it's been dropped once or twice. But, um, but yeah, we'll see, uh, see what we get out of this. You know, this thing pops open with just the popping the case open, I think. Yeah. There we go. And that's the inside of her. Battery doesn't look puffy or anything like that, so I think that is good news. Yeah. I can let it charge for a little while. And so, it looks like this tablet is working just fine. I've uh, put in my Wi-Fi password for it, um, so it's connecting to the network and whatnot. So now I just have to figure out how to reset it to factory state because it's got actually somebody's email address loaded in here with pictures and everything. So, you know... Before you throw out electronics that are working, it's probably a good idea to just reset them to factory default if it's still working. Now, it probably was sitting on a shelf and the battery was discharged and they probably tried to turn it on and they probably got to a point where it's, ah, this isn't working, so off it goes. But seriously, got to be a little careful when you're throwing around, like, you know, you wouldn't, like, just put a box of your your papers out by the curb, you would shred them, right? Or would you? Anyways, just a word for the wise. So, I don't know if it is a universal spacing on batteries of this size, but I. it turns out now we have to be careful about polarity because there's no polarity um, correction. So we just have to make sure that we're careful about polarity. But I made myself a little spacer doodobby for my battery charger and I was able to charge up uh, put a little bit of charge into here and so let's see what happens when now this one does have a polarity sense yeah it does let's see what happens when we pop this guy in oh yeah look at that seems to be taking pictures
Okay, 3072 by 2304. All right, so uh, once again, perfectly good little uh, device sitting in dumpster. Well, perfectly good. I mean, it's only um, 7 megapixels, but still... Shockproof from 5 feet, waterproof to 10 feet, so ought to be fine for taking stills at um, a beach, for instance, and things like that. So, hmm. didn't cost me anything. But there's that. Okay, so let's pull apart these guys and see what they've got inside them. First of all, they've got this um, protective condom on the outside of them to keep them from uh, keep them from what I'm not sure but maybe chooches like me getting inside them I don't know now what do we have here uh, that's just a sticker over top of there well scored the crap out of that didn't I um, see a little yeah I have to get the super dangerous tools out to get in there. Oh yeah. It is not wanting to uh, give up its there we go. Just needed. To, okay, and so now we've gotten exactly zero of the way in. All of this is is some fancy schmancy holder that allows you to probably put a paper wrapper around here, and then that pops on there, and it's like trade show giveaways, blah blah blah. Okay, so let's pop this open and see what we get. Uh, yeah, does not want to pop open, does it? I am just going to mangle the crap out of this because I do not care about the case. Okay. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Had I peeled off this, I would have realized that there are four screws. One, two, three, four. But I didn't, so I didn't. And yeah, there's our little 18650 cell in there. Are you potted in? Or are you just going to come out nicely? Uh, I think it, it may be potted with some sort of glue or schmoo. But we've got a basic little buck converter, a uh, boost converter for taking. And we've probably got a, yeah, that's the battery charger. So we've got a little boost converter that will take that 3.7 and produce a nice 5 volts out. And um, yeah, I really do want to uh, pop that battery out there to see if there's they put protection on it, but it does not seem to want to go at all, at all, at all. So I guess we're just going to have to go in and tear it open, I guess. This is dangerous right here. I think I managed to escape with my life. Yeah, just a little bit of um, double-sided foam tape at the bottom of there to keep the battery in and what kind of a um, 3.7 8.14 watt hours so a nominal 3.7 volts with 8.14 watt hours so V 
I is power, so divide by volts. Two, that's like eight divided by four. So it's around 2000. Um, so it's a little more than that um, because I'm dividing by something that's actually smaller and I rounded down. You know, they, yeah. So 2600 milliamp hours seems like a stretch to me, but yeah, maybe that's what they all have to be advertised as in order to make any money. Now, what do we get out of this from a usability perspective? Well, we get a nice five volt supply out of this 18650 that you can charge by just plugging in your usual um, uh, micro USB. So where does that um, find applicability? Well, it finds applicability in my little, um, this little circ, well, this guy here um, needs to be powered by uh, a lithium ion battery. We've got the same sort of boost buck Conver converter arrangement here and remember I was going to use basically this ESP32 together with a um, an, uh, a TFT display Actually, was I going to use one of the small ones or the big one I forget well in any event um, these need 5 volts for the backlight so I've got um, a 5 volt boost coming out of here that's where the 5 volt rail is coming from from this boost converter and then um, I've also got a uh, I'll put a 3.3 regulator on there 3.3 volt regulator to get regulated power for the ESP32 and so now basically that is the circuitry that I need in order to power um, all kinds of projects where I need a 5 volt rail and a 3.3 rail and actually I might poke around on here just to see if there's a 3.3 anywhere but um, in any event, that's a nice score. I've got a few of those that can be used for projects. And there's some projects that I want to do. Uh, my uh, a friend of mine needs to have a um, does blink and light um, a, a, because they're in a basement suite and the ceilings are low. They want to have does blink and lights along the um, the bounce points, the bump points. And so maybe we can power a project with 18650s that could be recharged and plugged in to something that mounts on the wall. I don't know, something like that. So yeah, um, and then an 18650 charger as slow as they are. And my goodness gracious, this uh, this is a slow charger. Holy smokes. Um, I would not recommend this for anyone uh, to try and charge 18650 cells because it takes forever, like um, uh, 20, 12 hours to, to charge up some of these cells. But anyways, enough said about that. Okay, so um, that's another little um, piece of doodattery that um, I got on the, uh, on the score, and it looks like it'll be worthwhile um, for projects.